Ladies and gentlemen, as much as we all care about the environment, the fact is it has been an unjust world and they only perpetuate those already in power. Having made this statement, let's move into the whole debate, right? Now first, they claim that countries like India, South Africa, China will now not be put over due to some hypothetical far person uh, edition or something like that. First, you will not understand the model to begin with. What even worse is, they haven't dealt with the reality on the ground, right? Like first, we told you, real colonialism is as real as it gets. Currently, France still gets money from 16 of its past colonies as reparations. And that's the sort of unjust world we live in, whereby countries in power only perpetuate their unjust policies. But secondly, what that also means is governance in these countries, uh, human, human resources in these countries are so poor and shoddy, they have no place of elevating themselves. Right? Therefore, that means when these countries do industrialize, the only avenue they have of industrialization is making inefficient industry. So your industry happen to be very environmentally friendly like in Germany or Netherlands, these are not things that these countries can afford to begin with. The reason Thailand happens to be one of the biggest perpetrators of climate change is because the only way Thailand has out of poverty is to cut down and decimate it, its forests, right? That's the only way it can eliminate itself from poverty. But that's the reality that has been created by the first world and the history of injustice in the first world, right? The fact that these countries are different from both and the fact that they have no access or they huh? cannot afford to clean energy is also as real as when you talk about China, the fact that China is one of the biggest countries of climate change depends on the fact that the stretch of industry in China was perpetuated by consumerism in the first world and was even worse. These countries, especially countries like India, Bangladesh, have no avenue but to enter into the dirty business of industrialization. They have no avenue to make sure that their industries happen to be green. These are the metrics of what proves you, what proves your case. This is the metric which decides whether a country is environmentally friendly or not. So, based on these metrics, you essentially that's what I just met it to begin with, right? But what's even worse is these are the same countries, the first world countries who have uh, created policies like carbon trading, right? What does carbon trading essentially mean? First world countries can simply export their carbon emission to other countries. That means, yes, Netherlands itself doesn't emit a lot of carbon, but that means that consumers in Netherlands is driven by the fact that they have money and they can just pay off African countries to emit a lot of carbon. And under your policy, these are the metals that are being considered and these are the are being considered as, oh, they are not environmentally friendly. So, so, so what you want to even more is they have been dealt with the whole world of argumentation for first industrialization, right? The fact that these countries did industrialize first, the fact that that's how industrialization often decimates, often dependent on decimating vast swaths of population, the fact that that's how industrialization left these countries unable to go, to live themselves from poverty, but to indulge in inefficient and unclean energy policies. Like right? these are things that, that they haven't been able and tell me what we're supposed to perpetuate those sorts of policies to see yeah. right? the fact that only now China is doing something to fix the environment is based on the fact that finally China has been able to elevate itself, itself right? But countries like India, Brazil still are not there, right? And tell me why raising thousands of people, millions of people from poverty is not more important than saving the environment. Yeah. So the whole point of civilization to begin with, people just leaving out the best set of people, right? So that's the first part of argumentation that they need that they need to deal with and the other yeah. Uh, the 
imperfect metrics of the atmosphere. So, for example, the records of climate change and climate emission have only been there since 1980s, right? And before that, we don't even have data of climate emission. But you know, industrialization has been around for That is a lot of the country for environmentally friendly, like Netherlands or Germany, but actually that's part of the of climate change that we face today. But what is that? Regarding those things, what we do have information regarding the fact that